Hi, welcome back to my channel. As you requested, I invited Sakura Kinimoto from the anime card captor Sakura to help us in our today's lesson. You can always request an anime that you want me to invite as a guest for our succeeding lessons. Just visit the community tab of our channel and comment your suggestions to my current post there. We are already done with our discussion series regarding literary elements from lesson 13 to 18. If you fail to watch our videos about it, I put its link in the description box below. Please complete watching our videos up to its end. I always add some activities and seat works at the end part of my videos to help you master the lesson that we are discussing. I also add at the end of the video all the shoutouts as my appreciation for your comments in my videos. I will mention and congratulate those who were able to finish the video and get a passing score in our seat works. Just comment the score that you'll get in the comment box down below. If you also want me to shout out your name in my next video, just leave a comment down below. Before we proceed to our lesson for today, please like this video as your support to my channel. You can also share this video to your friends, share the happiness, and most importantly, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet to my channel and hit the notification bell for you to be always updated to new lessons that I will upload here in my channel. For starters, let us first practice pronouncing some words. Listen very carefully on the voice record on how each word is properly pronounced, then repeat after it. Bill. One more time. Bill. Good job. Form. Form. Bound. Bound. Bind. Again. Bind. You're doing good. Next word. Hold. Hold. Fund. Fund. Find. Find. Bell. Bell. Great. Don't forget on how we pronounce each word. Now, let's move on. Sakura looks very troubled. Why? Because of these forms that she needs to fill up. Let's help her. First, Let's help her in answering her school admission form to Tomoeda Junior High School. But before that, remember that we need to read the details needed very carefully before filling up the form to avoid mistakes. Let's start. Form number. This one is being filled up by the school administrator who will receive the school form when Sakura submits it. Date. Of course, you need to write the date today. Today is July 17, 2020. Admission number. This one will be provided by the school administrator when Sakura submits the form. Oh, don't forget to put a picture on the form since the form requires us to do so. And remember to put the appropriate size of the picture needed. Now, student's profile. Name, see that there's a note that we need to write in all capital letters. So let's follow it. Her name is Sakura Kinomoto. Admission sought for class, grade 7. Academic year, 2020. To 2021 date of birth oops be careful check the order of the dates required in filling up this part of the form d stands for date m for month and y for year sakura's birthday is on april 1 i forgot to ask her about the year but i know that she's already 12 years old so 2020 less 12 years is year 2008 place of birth tomoeda hospital state Tomoeda, nationality, Japanese, religion, Buddhism, 66.7% of Japan's population is Buddhism. In the Philippines, 92% of the population is Christian, gender, female, residential address, hmm, I forgot to ask her about her exact address. I will leave this section for her to answer, but remember that whenever you answer this, you need to write your complete address, including your block number, lot number, or house number, name of your street, subdivision, barangay or name of town, city, and province. Mother Tongue Nihongo Nihongo is an East Asian language spoken by about 108 million people, primarily living in Japan. 
Mother tongue means the language that you speak. If you're a Filipino, then your mother tongue might be Tagalog. If you're an American, then of course your mother tongue is English. So what's your mother tongue? Please share it to us by leaving a comment down below. Previous academic record. Here you will write the name of your previous school, location of that school, class, year, and your grade percentage. So for Sakura, her previous school was Tomoeda Elementary School, class, grade 6, year of study. So today is 2020 and she's now a freshman in junior high school, so a year ago, 2019. Percentage, U. Oh, what does U means? In Japan, this is the grading system that they follow. In the first column, the grade in Japanese is indicated, written in kanji. Second column is the English translation of that Japanese grade. And the last column shows the corresponding percentage. Shu means exemplary or excellent. Corresponding percentage is S, 90 to 100%. But this one is rarely given. U means very good, equivalent to A or 80 to 89%. Ryo means good, equivalent to B or 70 to 79%. Ka means average or pass, equivalent to C or 60 to 69%. Nin means approved or acceptable grade. Corresponding percentage is D or F or 50 to 59 percent this one is very uncommon and last is fuka which means unacceptable or failed equivalent to f or 0 to 59 percent or 0 to 49 percent achievements she had in her extracurricular activities since she's very athletic member of school's cheerleading squad and an excellent runner. Now, let's help her in answering the bank's withdrawal slip. Her father, Fujitaka Kinomoto, sent her 10,844 yen, or in peso, it's equivalent to 5,000 pesos. In dollars, it's equivalent to $219. Her father sent her that money because she needs to pay 4,337 yen for their electric bill. It's equivalent to 2,000 pesos or $40. Then, the change that she will get after paying the bill, she needs to deposit it to her brother's bank account, Toya Kinimoto, for his allowance. So here, in the upper section of the bank withdrawal slip, first, you need to choose the currency. You just need to check if the money you want to withdraw is in peso or US dollar bill. If neither, you check others, then write the currency you need. So we check others, then write yen because that's what Sakura needs. In the account number, we need to write here the account number of Sakura's father bank account. Usually, it's 12 digits. So here's the number. By the way, these numbers are just for example purposes only. In the date, we write the date when we will withdraw the money. So today, July 17, 2020. Account name, what we need to write here is the name of the owner of the bank account. Sakura's father's name is Fujitaka Kinemoto. Amount in words, it means that we need to write here in words the amount of money that we are going to withdraw. So it's 10,844 yen only. You need to write only to indicate that this is the exact amount that you want to withdraw. Then, next, write in figures means that we need to write the amount in digits. So, it's 10,844. Now, since Sakura is the one who's going to withdraw the money to his father's bank account, this part of the withdrawal slip is very important to be filled up. His father already signed this withdrawal through representative section of the form, for Sakura. Let's read it. I, we, since the account is owned by one person only, so we use I. Otherwise, if an account is owned by two or more people, we use we. So again, let's read it. I hereby authorize Sakura Kinemoto, whose signature appears below, to effect this withdrawal for and in my behalf. Signature of representative Sakura Kinemoto. 
I declare under the penalties of perjury. Perjury means the offense of willfully telling an untruth in a court after having taken an oath or affirmation. In other words, you will be punished by law because of lying in a very important document. Let's read it again. I declare under the penalties of perjury that my co-depositor is still living. Signature of depositor, Fujitaka Kinimoto. Depositor pertains to the owner of the account. The verified by portion will be signed by the bank teller when Sakura submits this form to the bank. The approved by portion will be signed by the bank manager. Again, this section of the withdrawal slip will only be signed by the owner if someone else will withdraw money in his bank account. If he will be the one to withdraw on his own bank account, this section is not needed to be filled up. Just leave it blank or cross it out. The last portion of the withdrawal slip contains the details regarding the money wanted to withdraw. Denomination pertains to the kind of bill. In peso, examples are 20 peso bill, 50 peso bill, 100 peso bill, 200 peso bill, 500, and 1000. Pieces pertains to the number of pieces you wanted to withdraw with the denomination you've wrote. Amount pertains to the accumulated amount of the number of pieces you've wrote. Total cash is the total value of the money you will withdraw. Now, since Sakura needs yen, here are our denomination options. 10,000 yen bill, 5,000 yen, 1,000 yen. By the way, this yen bill designs will debut on year 2024. This is the 500 yen bill. This is the 100 yen bill. This is the 50 yen bill. This is the 10 yen coin and this is the 1 yen coin. So for Sakura, let's help her withdraw. 5,000 yen bill, 2 pieces, amount 10,000 yen. 500 yen bill, 1 piece, amount 500 yen. 100 yen bill, 3 pieces, amount 300 yen. 10 yen coin, 4 pieces, amount 40 yen. And 1 yen coin, 4 pieces, amount 4 yen. Total cash is 10,844 yen. Payment received by Sakura Kinemoto. Then the machine validation, you don't need to write there. That portion is for the machine that the bank teller will use. The machine will print there your receipt for your cash withdrawal. Now, since Sakura already have the money, the next thing she needs to do is to pay their electric bill. Let's check out how to answer the transaction form. Here are the important details that you need to fill in in the transaction form whenever you pay the bill. So in the upper portion of the transaction form, it indicates there the account name, the date, and the contact number. So account name is the name of the account owner indicated in the bill. Then the date, of course, the date when you are going to pay the bill. Contact number, you need to write there your contact number because you are the one who's going to pay for the bill. You need to check bills payment in the transaction details of the transaction form. Then, you also need to write there the biller or the name of the company indicated in the bill. And then, you need to write there the total amount that you are going to pay for. And then, the account number. Usually, it's 10 digits. In the payment details of the transaction form, you need to check on cash option if you're going to pay using cash. If you're going to use check, then check on check. If you're going to uh, pay using credit card, then you check credit card. And then finally, before you submit it and pay the bill, you need to fill out the signature over printed name. Now, Sakura already paid their electric bill and she has 6,507 yen left. Her brother just called her and told her that he only needs 5,422 yen which is equivalent to 2,500 pesos or $51 because he still have enough money for himself. In order for Toya Kinomoto to receive the money, he told Sakura to deposit the money in his bank account. So let's help Sakura fill up the bank deposit slip. In filling up the bank deposit slip, first, you need to write the account number. Write one number for each box. And here's the account number. Again, these numbers are for example purposes only. Account name, Toya Kinimoto. Do not answer this part of the form. This part will be answered by the bank teller when you submit the bank deposit slip. 
By the way, a post-dated check is a check written by the drawer for a date in the future. Name of depositor or representative, Sakura Hinimoto. Contact number and address, I will leave this part for Sakura to answer. Date, July 17, 2020. Next, the denomination breakdown. 1,000, 5 pieces, amount 5,000 yen. 200, 1 piece, amount 200 yen. 100, 2 pieces, amount 200 yen. Coins, 22 pieces, amount 22 yen. Total cash deposit, 5,422. Since Sakura uses cash in depositing the money, we will skip the check deposit part. If you'll use check in depositing money, then you should skip the cash denomination part and answer the check deposit part of the form. Total deposit, 5,422 yen. Now, Sakura has 1,085 yen left, which is equivalent to 500 pesos or $10. She decided to return the money to her father. For her to do this, she needs to fill up the remittance form before she can send the money through the remittance center. Let's help her fill up the remittance form. Here's the sample of our remittance form. Transaction code will be provided by the person in the remittance center who will process the transaction. Date, July 17, 2020. Time, it's already 1 p.m. Now, we only need to fill up those with check marks because those are the important details for the transaction. Name of sender, Sakura Kinomoto. Mobile number, I will leave this part for Sakura to answer. Name of receiver, Fujitaka Kinomoto. Mobile number, here, Sakura needs to write the cell phone number of her father. Amount, since this is converted into peso and there's a peso sign there, we will write 500 pesos. Purpose of transaction, send money. Relationship to receiver, father. Finally, signature over printed name, Sakura Kinomoto. Remember, whenever you are filling up a form, Read the details very carefully to avoid mistakes. Write in print and not cursive. Write neatly and legibly. For you to be familiarized with other kinds of forms, let's have an activity. For your today's activity, you're going to match the forms in the left column to their appropriate purpose in the right column. I'll give you a moment in answering this activity. Time's up! Here's the answer key for our today's activity. For me to know if you really learned in our today's lesson, let's have a seat work. For your today's seat work, you are going to read the form very carefully and choose the sections that were filled up incorrectly. Again, you are going to choose the part of the form that was not filled up properly. I'll give you a moment to answer this secret. Up. Here's the answer key for our today's seat work. The form should be filled out like this. All set! I hope you've learned a lot from our today's lesson. I hope that now you know how to fill up a form properly. 
Please comment down below the score that you get in our seat work. If you pass, I'll post a shoutout of you in our next video. Speaking of shoutout, as my means of showing my gratitude and appreciation to all of your comments in my videos, I would like to post a shoutout to the following people. Thank you for all of your encouraging and positive comments. Your comments are important to me. By the way, the sole purpose of me making video lessons like this is to help children be able to study at home. So in order for this video to reach as many children at home as possible, please share this video to your friends. And again, to help me be encouraged in making video lessons like this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell as well so that you will always be updated to new lessons that I will upload here in my channel. Thank you and see you in our next video. Bye-bye!